Welcome back to this channel. This is Knifefish Games. I'm Kylon. In this video, I'm going to present you how you can set up a fixed orthographical top down camera in RPG Developer Barking. What am I talking about? It's actually what you just saw at the beginning of this video, where the camera doesn't move as the character moves. The view angle is close to a 2D game like in RPG Maker, but it's not an absolute 90 degree angle. So we're doing a thick orthographical projection view because if we change the view to camera from above like this, it would be hard to see what these models are if you're not using 2D characters. You can't even see people's legs, just their hairs moving on the grass. Without further ado, let's begin. First things first, the camera tool. Now, let's suppose we were to make a new game with every map in the same settings. We wouldn't need to copy and paste the default camera settings, just edit the default setting directly. Be sure to make this angle minus 60 degrees, as this is the most comfortable angle I found after a few trials of different angles. Also, notice that the targets of the camera should now be the center of the map instead of the player. And make sure we set the map size to fix the window size. If you copy my settings here, the perfect map size will be 16 times 9. It's based on the distance between the camera and the terrain. But if you tilt the angle to a number larger than minus 90 degrees, like minus 80, minus 60, then the map will become ladder shaped and the gaps will appear. That's why we should add two more rows of terrain horizontally and two more columns vertically on which we can place some air walls to enclose the moving area so we won't lose sight of the characters when walking near the edges of the map. If you don't understand what the rubbish I was talking about, just copy my settings, they'll be fine. Next, the game definition. This time, we'll only need to switch on disable camera control so the player won't be able to shift the camera angles whilst they're playing the game. Okay, now let's run the game and check out how it works. Let me know in the comments what you want to learn about RPG Barking. Your likes and subscriptions will be my motivation to create more of such content. Hope you have a good time with your own piece of art. I will see you next time.